Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Aditi and today I have sat here because I've decided that I want to share with all of you that how you can start your own freelancing career. In the beginning, I have shared how I started my journey as a freelancer and then I share that how you can start your own journey and how you can earn money from it. So let's get started. So my journey as a freelancer was a bumpy ride. Uh, when I initially joined my graduation college, I was not very inclined towards that subject. I just joined that college for the sake of it. My subjects were zoology, biology, human physiology, but that was not where I really wanted to stay. So I started with um, internships. I had few of my seniors, few amazing seniors in my college who helped me go through it. I instantly joined a few internships and it was I was working for free. But what majorly I earned from there was experience. I earned experience. I learned so many things from my seniors. I learned from brand. I learned from mentors. And that's how I initially started. There was no monetary gains, but the gains were in terms of experience, in terms of learnings and in terms of new opportunities that came in. So that's how I started. After two to three years uh, during my graduation days, I was mostly working for free with different brands, different businesses. And the gains, again, as I said, was never monetary during my graduation days. As soon as I completed my graduation, it, uh, it started that uh, brands started reaching out to me because I had built a certain experience portfolio. It was word of mouth. It was references that came in who wanted to work with me because they had seen my work during those two to three years. And that's when I actually started earning from my work. And this, this is how it went on from there. And it has been six years, including my graduation years, that I have been working as a content writer, as a copywriter, as a social media strategist. And this was my journey, but your journey can be completely different or can be completely similar. It completely depends on how you want to do it. So here are five steps. I've broken this process into five steps on how you can start your own journey. First, this video, this moment right here is your cue to begin now. This is the time to start. Don't get on me, Ki Aditi, what are you saying? Start now. We all know we have to start. But this is the moment I want you to start. I want you to sit and start now. Start as in, it's okay if you have very basic skill. It's okay if you are not an expert in, a, in your niche. It's okay if you have the fundamental experience or you do not have any experience. You are a bare fresher. It's okay. It's completely fine. When I started, I had no experience, but I did. So it is your cue to start now. Stop your hesitation. Just let it go. Let go all the confusions and start. It's okay. You will make mistakes, but you will learn. I will say it's not your journey to earn something, but start your journey to learn something. This is your cue to start now. And I'm sure starting late will be a major regret to you later on. So it's better to do it now. Do, do it from now. Start today. Step two, build your online presence. We have been born in a generation of social media and social media without being social is just media, right? So build your social presence, build an online presence, platforms like Instagram, LinkedIn, and so many other platforms are here for us. They are here for our disposal to use them, to get social and to build a presence of our own. If I tell personally about my, uh, my story, I started with an Instagram page. And till date, I get all my clients from my Instagram page. I have never reached out to a certain client to hire me. Never that has happened to me. Clients have approached me via Instagram page. And trust me when I say that I have got clients more than who are willing to pay more than one lakh rupees for just this much. So it's, it is like I have clients who reach out to me via my Instagram page. So you can think that how you how much you can earn just by your online presence, how much branding you will get just by your online presence. So build an online presence, start a website, your uh, a page, any anything like a campaign that you want to run, run anything, build a presence of your own, build a 
brand of your own build yourself as a brand as well and what i'm saying is that i'm not an expert either i have not been there yet i don't think i am growing myself and it's okay that if initially you do not get like 1000 followers in a day 10000 followers i even don't have it so it's okay if you do not get a lot of engagement a lot of followers initially it's okay you have to grow you have to keep on going you have to be consistent and build an online presence third as i said social media without being social is just media so if you are using social media use it to your own benefit such as building professional relationships building a network of your own i cannot emphasize enough on the importance of having networks clients and business that comes from references and word of mouth is so immense like you can get so much from that network that you build it is of immense importance building networks brings you in the discussion it lets people know that what you have been working on what have you worked till date and how much you have worked till date what quality you put on the table so it's very important that you build your network you talk to people you learn from people you let let people know that what you have been doing lately what are the services that you are providing it's important that the network that you are in has is helping you grow is helping you learn it's very important and it's very crucial to say that having a network is very important for any freelancer out there next partner and collaborate as i told you that i started my journey where i had my senior as a mentor she helped me a lot and she told me things she taught me things and i learned from her she had she is an amazing writer and she still learning things she being my senior still learning on things and she's doing such amazing things in her life but she was there for me when i started and there are still people who are there for me who who helped me throughout my journey so it's very important that you partner with people you collaborate with people because once you collaborate with someone once you partner with someone you get two brains two minds or more than two minds working on the same thing and you get expertise of more than one person you get help from more than one person it and it is very helpful in bringing out better results so you're not just a lone person in this journey it's good that you collaborate with someone to bring more amazing results it's good that you partner with someone to bring more to the table so do not hesitate in building connections and partnering with them to bring outcomes it's okay to collaborate with any fellow writer any fellow photographer any fellow developer whatever your niche is it's okay to partner it's okay to you know distribute the outcomes with people but it will help you eventually in the longer run fifth diversify so when i started my journey it was mostly long form blogs and articles and i only focused on that but after a year or so i started exploring more things and i realized that i enjoy short form graphical content like social media content linkedin content more than the long form contents although i like both of them i like working on both of them but it is my interest that got diversified so do not stick yourself to only one particular niche do not stick yourself to one category diversify and explore maybe you like something else more than what you have been started with it's okay if you started with the for example i talk about not just writing a photographer it's okay if you are uh, if you like food photography initially but then you like maybe product photography it's okay if you diversify it's okay if you explore your opportunities and see what amazes you more and maybe the other category has more opportunities for you has more earnings for you from the industry so it's okay that you diversify and look for other ex- opportunities that are out there do not shut yourself with one single category and people do say that niche yourself down niche yourself down but i personally do not believe this it's okay to explore it's okay to understand yourself and it's okay to understand that where you want to work in the longer run and yes these were the five steps that i have felt that are very important when you are starting your journey but just just remember one thing it's not the monetary gain initially i'm sure that we all are working to bring bread on the table right to bring food on the table for us and our families so money is important and i obviously understand that but initially it's about experience it's about learning and it's about exploring your opportunities 
and go ahead start today and if you have any confusions just leave a comment here or dm me on instagram on linkedin and i'm always available to help from my expertise although i'm still learning i'm still growing and i'll keep on learning things as my journey moves forward and that's it for this video i hope this video helps i'll see you in my next video thank you